guys, this is Marilyn uh, from Clean Laundry Night Fitness. Here to show you my, my three, four favorite exercises that I like to do when I warm up. So we're going to start with the inch work. We're going to have a lunge twist. We're going to have a cow stretch. And we're going to hold at the bottom of the squat. So these are my favorite exercises that I like to do. Especially if I'm going to warm up, to open up the hips, open up the shoulders. Make sure you do to go. So first exercise that I'm going to show you is an inch work. So from this position, you're going to stay straight, tuck your hip in, and from there, you're going to hold on to your knee down, walk it out, and then back to your starting position. Walk it out, and back. So you're going to do that about five times, and make sure you're nice and warmed up. Second one is going to be a lunge with a twist. So you're going to do it eight times on each side. So you're starting position, you want to make sure that you exaggerate that lunge. Warm up your hip nicely. So you're going to exaggerate it and twist on one side and the other side. You want to be able to do that twist. Make sure that you stay firm on the ground. Twist. Reason why you rotate is you want to warm up your T-spine as well. Make sure that it's nice and warmed up for the squats. Okay. So you're going to do eight per side. So weight one on this side. Twisting, that's why we're going to come into side position. Two, when you twist to the side, so that counts as two. Okay, so you're going to do eight per side. Next exercise is a card stretch. Now, this is a very good exercise, especially if you want to warm up your hip and your quads at the same time. Okay, so I understand that not all of us in boxes, so you, if you can um, use a couch, that would be a great idea. A couch or a chick or a stool. Okay, so from this position, Stay shoulder width apart, one foot back on the box, or on the couch, or on the stool, or on the chair. You want to make sure that you're keeping a 90 degree from your front foot, so your hip, your, your knee is going to be in the same line with your ankle. Okay. On this other side, you want to make sure that from your shoulder, to your hip, to your knee, they're all in the same line. You're going to hold, do not move, do not rock forward, or back. So you want to hold in that same position for about 30 seconds. 60 seconds tops if you can, but 30 seconds is enough. Okay, you want to try and relax, breathe in and breathe out. Make sure that you warm your quads nicely and that you flex your hip. Okay, so you're gonna hold 30 seconds. Same thing that I do on this side, I'm gonna do on the other side. Okay, so that is my third. My fourth and last warm up will be holding at the bottom of the squat. So this is a very, very essential Warm up routine. So, from that position, you're gonna get into a normal squat stand that you would if you're gonna squat. So, okay, shoulder width apart or slightly outside the shoulder. So, I'm gonna do this side so that you can see I'm not tucking my back in. I'm gonna keep my back straight, I'm gonna keep a nice, proud chest, and from there, I'm gonna sit in the bottom of that squat. You can put your elbows on both sides of the knees and try and push it. Make sure that you're looking forward with your chest out and your back straight, and you're gonna try and hold for about 30 seconds. Again, you can hold for a little bit longer if you feel like you can. If you're uncomfortable, you can still hold down, holding in the bottom of the squat, but you do not wanna round your back. Just make sure that you're trying to push your chest out, keeping your back straight, and hold it. Okay, so you're gonna do that three times over. Every single exercise, you're gonna do it three times over. Your inchworm, starting with the inchworm, remember I showed you. You're gonna do that five times, walking out, walking back up. You're gonna do your lunge with a twist eight times per side. And your card stretch, remember holding it. You can use your couch, you can use your chair, you can use a stool, anything that's gonna allow you to put your um, foot on the box. Okay. And then last but not least is gonna be your bottom of the squat. So you can do this before you get into your main workout. I hope you can enjoy it.